Romans 10, 9 says, if you can confess with your mouth Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So when we do this, we've heard this here before, maybe someone's new today, when we, when we do this, we, we make Jesus our Lord and our Savior. We're saying, you're my Lord, you're my master, I'm now coming under you in your authority. It's not just Savior, it's not just I'm gonna get out of hell for free now, right? We're choosing to make him Lord, we're seeking him and what he wants to do, and that's where that intimate covenant bond is formed and is um, forged. It's your proximity to that covenant relationship, right? God never leaves us. He says he never leaves us nor forsakes us, right? So it's our choice of how close the proximity we are in this relationship with Christ. And that determines the flow from heaven into your life as we live out our Christian walk, as we live out our Christian lives. And in this case, as we choose to face the Goliaths in your life. We can't only be in the covenant, we must choose to stay in that constant covenant connection, intimate relationship with the Lord. We're choosing to make him, again, our Lord and our master. And we can look at this covenant as an umbrella. I didn't bring this because it's raining. <laughs> we can look at the covenant as an umbrella. The goal of a covenant is to cover. When it's raining outside, you have an umbrella you, um, for covering. But if the umbrella is closed and you haven't opened it and you're not under it, the covering does not cover you even though you're possessing the covering. So even though we have this covenant with God, right, where we've said, you're my Lord, you're my master, you're my savior, if we're not choosing to be under the covering, if we're not choosing to be in connection with the Lord, we're choosing to not be under the covenant. Until you open it, <laughs> until you open it and place yourself under it, you're not covered by the covenant. Until we have that deep relationship. Yes, we're saved, we're going to heaven. But when we're under this covering of the Lord in this deep, intimate relationship is when we have um, this this extra covering from the Lord. That's when you start to see um, the, the real benefits of this powerful relationship that you have with him. You start to see the true power of God show up in the battle. If it's pouring down rain outside, the umbrella does not stop it from raining. However, it does stop it from raining on you because you are now operating underneath this umbrella and this covering. I hope that all makes sense. It's a work of the Holy Spirit. When Goliath comes and threatens David, David says in 1 Samuel 17, 45, he says to the Philistine, you come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. We don't come at our problem with these earthly solutions, right? That's not going to fix it. It comes out of this deep covenantal bond. The Lord is going to speak to each and every one of us. He says, my sheep know my voice. We hear his voice. So whatever Goliath you're facing, I challenge you. First, we need to identify the Goliath. We gotta dig into the word and find out what the Bible says about what God wants to do to address that Goliath in our life. Sometimes also though, there might be a sin that we need to address, either that someone is sinning against us or maybe a sin that we have in our life. Um, the next thing we need to do though is, is place ourselves under that divine authority of the Bible by doing what it says. And then we need to open up to the Holy Spirit that will give us the strategy, that personal guidance, that whisper in our ear, the nudge in the right direction of, of how we can fight the Goliath. Because every single one of our Goliaths is different. Every single one of us are going to defeat it in a different way because 
we're all unique and God knows that so we need that, that that voice of the Lord we need to pause we need to pray we need to strain and listen for what he's saying not the world is saying around us that's when we see the victory as God shows us how to cut off the head of our enemies and off of our personal Goliaths. We have someone bigger than the Goliaths that we face. We have Jesus. We have his power. We have his authority. We have the wisdom of God through the Holy Spirit.